Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpha King Carter here. I want to welcome you to my No Money Spent NBA 2K24, my career series, man. Hey, listen, I'm excited for this. I know that it's been long awaited. A lot of people probably in the comment section right now saying, Pod, this was supposed to be a day one series. Why is you waiting so long? Because, man, things had to fall in place. Life got in the way. The NBA got in the way. People being suspended got in the way. I wanted to make sure when I made my No Money Spent My Career series that I was going up against all of the talent on the court. All of the rosters was updated. The NBA was actually going on. The trades were finished. And we were literally running into the next trade deadline. So right here, right now, the two-way three-level threat point guard that's right i finally made a point guard bill for nba 2k24 is finally here i was talking with raunchy inside of discord while i was you know whiteboarding this um this no money spent series and i was telling him yo i play my player since nba 2k10 and this is my 14th year in I was like, I don't understand why I keep making the same old builds, slashing on everybody, going around pick and roll screens, throwing alley use, you know, shooting long distance threes with point guards and stuff like that. Why can't I do something different? Why don't I challenge myself this time around? And guess what, guys? I want to give you guys the actual challenge all right i want to show you guys what i made how i did it and you're gonna see it here first man point guard 6'8 227 pounds 611 wingspan now like i said i was talking to ron chan discord and we were going over builds he has a 6'6 point guard that is a back to the basket guard we call that the sim nation build where we go to the rack we run a lot of sim nation plays you know out of the post focused on him and i wanted to do something like that but then i was also saying to him yo I know somebody that's really, really dope at the back to the basket game, and that's Black Cobra. So I was like, you know what? Let me go on Twitter and see what type of build he created over the span of the game. Now, he's created three total builds. One that is his first build, a primary passing build, and this 6'8 build. But when I was looking at the build, I was saying to myself, I can tweak a couple of the attributes uh, a little bit to more to my liking and i want to show you guys what i actually came up with the post control is not a 95 on this build i know that drop stepper on hall of fame is very very crucial but what i noticed is i'm going to be going up against a lot of point guards and a lot of shooting guards because mainly when people call for switches if the center is across the court the center is not going to come and help out and if he does come and help out i promise you it's a dot every single time so i wanted to go with the 92 post control so that i would be able to lower my free throw and i would be able to work on my steel now the reason why i went for a 60 steel is simply for interceptor on bronze as a pg i uh, i know that i'm not a on the ball defender which means i can rip people you know on ball i'm more of a step up defend and see if a player is going to get their play started and possibly get a pass from the lanes. If there is a pass coming in from the inbound, I'm, I'm, I'm stalking the guards to see who's gonna get the ball and I rip it from the lane. So I decided, you know what, give me a 60 steal. That should be enough because Interceptor will help me. Plus in my career, you have the dynamic ratings, which means as I play better, my build plays better. The bad Edges essentially feel like they get bumped up because the attributes do so even if i have a 60 still sometimes it'll be like i'm playing with a 77 still or something like that so i decided you know what that'll work out for me now everything else here you guys probably see it i don't have any dunking i don't need it i know that dunking is something that a lot of people love to see in highlight plays and stuff like that but if you guys notice in the first screenshot i have Giannis. All right, Giannis will do enough dunking for the both of our builds, okay? He'll do all the dunking while I facilitate, throw him lobs, throw him fat flashy passes. Now, as far as the shooting, I maxed everything out besides my free throw. So you guys already know I got all of the badges that I need to work from the post 
work from the mid range and I can still shoot the pill from limitless all right pass accuracy I know a lot of people talk about pass accuracy and why it's so important but it is not as important in my career than it is online simply because there's user input online a lot of people love to jump the passing lanes and steal the ball so if you have you know 75 or under it's really not as crucial when you're in my career simply because the AI don't jump those passing lanes like someone online would, okay? Ball handle. This is the highest ball handle I've had in NBA 2K24, and I'm going to take advantage of it. I'm gonna start learning combos, start learning, you know, chain moves and stuff like that. And there's one thing that I wanna say before I move on to the actual uh, physicals. When creating this build, I took into account that we now have pro play technology for the last iterations of 2k 2k 23 22 21 20 19 even 18 17 16 15 we all were using different dribble styles that we thought were cool online to chain together moves that can beat our defender almost 88 percent of the time but with this new pro play technology moves actually chain better together even if they're slower when you have more of the actual players i guess dna built into those moves so if i have ai's crossover his step back his uh escape his spin like things like that they chain better together they don't look as wonky so you don't have to say oh man i could have canceled that move and did something different no if you have that player's uh dribble set on you can chain those moves together and they're flawless they look seamless they look so good moving on defense you already know i'm a perimeter defender and i can lane still speed maxed out acceleration maxed out strength maxed out simply for that back down punisher on hall of fame i am about to abuse every point guard every shooting guard and even some small forwards out there from the post i promise you that and of course stamina on 98 hey man i'm gonna be doing a lot of moves i'm gonna be doing a lot, a lot of jab steps a lot of spins out of the post uh it's going it's going to get ugly so i need that extra stamina to make sure i can do everything that i need to all right let me tell you about why i actually chose the bucks okay we know that damian lillard is already on the milwaukee bucks but what about when he comes out i'm not scared to be somebody's second simply because this is a no money spent series which means i'm only only a 60 overall i haven't spent anything for this build yet i have not touched one attribute yet so i'm going to be in that second chair for a while it may be maybe a month before i even get some good attributes that's gonna you know get me more time in the game make me six mana on on the bucks it's gonna take me a while guys so i want to make sure that i'm set up for success because guess what you get more uh rewards and more things and accolades when your team can make it to the finals and win the championship so i'm going all the way okay the difficulty all right the difficulty for me is going to be something that i take pride in i'm going all the way to hall of fame that is 160 percent vc and 160 percent my points because guess what i'm only a 60 overall why wouldn't i play on hall of fame because i know while i'm in the game i'm not gonna be able to do much anyway so i might as well get the best bang for my buck all right that's how i'm gonna be earning my vc i'm gonna be actually playing the game and i will also be following the quest line so if you guys aren't into quests i'm gonna be doing all the side quests that give me vc of course and that because i know i need it and i will be putting a lot of my vc into my players attributes getting them up but i'm also going to be putting them into moves but the way that i will be delivering that content i don't want to tell you guys about but i'm gonna make the content dope when i learn new moves all right i promise you guys that now um my next key game is against luka Doncic, and i can say right here right now if you want to see me play games that are not key games because a lot of the key games will be here on youtube but all of the games in between 
I will be playing over on my Twitch channel, all right? So if you guys are not following me on Twitch, follow me right now on Twitch because that's where all that content is gonna live. And we can just kick it in the comment section, all right? While I play those games against the, the CPU, I can pause the game and talk to y'all that's that's gonna be the best thing about this series it's gonna bring the fun back in nba 2k24 for me because i'll be able to interact with you guys interact with you on the youtube videos in the comment section and interact with you on the twitch streams in the chat that's gonna be that that literally is full circle for me all right now the next thing badges i know a lot of people are probably like well pod a lot of your badges aren't gonna be up and aren't gonna progress because you're only a 60 overall. That's completely fine. I understand that. I understand that there will be certain badges that I will chase, which means I will be putting up certain attributes first. But as of right now, I wanna see how the build plays as a 60 and see what badges start being used and, and, and actually upgraded. And if those badges can't get there, I will update stuff like for instance back down punisher I know that my first little bit of VC will go into a 64 post control and a 70 strength I know that already but what I want to do is I want to make sure that all of these other badges that I use like for instance float game I gotta do a floater next time I gots to do a floater next time because once I get an actual 68 driving layup I can start taking floater to silver so there's there's going to be a lot for me to do, a lot for me to focus on. And look at my little badge DNA. It's, it's looking bad out there. But if you guys already know this, Pro Touch is already ahead of the game. Closest upgrades, biggest movers, Pro Touch is one of them because I'm using the actual meter for layups. I'm using the meter for shooting. I'm using the meter for free throws. I'm using the meter all around. So Pro Touch is already on its way to gold. All right, that's really, really dope. And I will keep you guys updated. And I know that you will keep me honest on what I'm spending on this build because I'm, I'm telling y'all, I won't spend a dime of what I didn't earn. There will be times where let's say for instance a move costs 500 and maybe i earned let's say 1376 and i spent maybe a thousand on something else i might wait until the next game to upgrade that something that costs 500 you know what i'm saying i'll challenge myself i will put a handicap on myself if need be all right but again weekly challenges are going to be dope i'm going to be doing a lot of smart spending and the storyline the storyline you guys are gonna love it i cannot wait to show it to you guys man I, like literally i want to cry that's how happy i am about this series i literally want to cry because i'm so excited on how to actually just do this like I'm, I'm getting back into that mode man i'm getting back into the storytelling i'm getting back into the creativity of my career i'm psyched okay so make sure you guys hit that like button make sure you guys hit that share button leave a comment let people know yo pod is back he on his my career shit and it's time to get lit bro hey i'm gonna highlight you guys in the next video this is your boy ikc signing out also i know y'all probably wondering why i got hair i do what i want I know I'm bald, you can't stop me. Because guess what, his storyline is, maybe he can't afford a haircut, and maybe his hair start growing. But hey, you never know. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, I buy. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong.